Let G be an R regular bipartite graph, where R is greater than or equal to 1, with partite sets U and W, so every edge of the graph joins a vertex in U to a vertex in W. That was a really bad edge, something like that. Then, the cardinalities of U and W, the partite sets, are equal. And when the partite sets of a bipartite graph have the same number of vertices, we call the graph balanced. Here's an example of the situation we're talking about, in case you find that helpful. Here, r is equal to 2. This is a bipartite graph that is too regular. So every vertex in one partite set is adjacent to two vertices in the other partite set. Vertex in one partite set, adjacent to two vertices in the other partite set. So it's a fun little result, and we will use it down the line when we start talking about matchings and independent edge sets, but uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, let's just jump into this quick proof. All we're going to do is count the number of edges in the graph. Then, we're going to do it again, and of course, those numbers are equal. The number of edges in the graph is the number of edges in the graph. Then we'll take one more step, and we will be at our desired result. That's the game plan. So we're, of course, assuming that we've got an R regular bipartite graph, where R is greater than or equal to 1, and our partite sets are U and W, and we're going to prove their cardinalities are equal. For our first edge count, let's think about our partite set U. Since every edge in a bipartite graph is incident with exactly one vertex in each partite set, we can count the edges in the graph just by adding up the degrees of the vertices in a single partite set. Because again, every edge in a bipartite graph is incident with exactly one vertex in each partite set. So if we add up the degrees of the vertices in U, for example, we won't be double counting any edges, because no edge is incident with two vertices in U. And we won't be missing any edges, because there isn't an edge that's not incident with a vertex of U. For such an edge to exist, it would have to join two vertices in the other partite set, W, which contradicts the definition of a bipartite graph. So let's count the edges by adding up the degrees of the vertices in U. Each vertex has a degree of R, since the graph is R regular, so each vertex is incident to R edges. So for each vertex, we're adding r to our edge count. So that's a total of r times the cardinality of u. If r was equal to 3, for example, like in this sketch, we would have 3 plus 3 plus 3, and so on for however many vertices there are in the partite set. So r times the number of vertices in the partite set u, that's the number of edges in the graph. And perhaps you see where this is going. By the same exact logic, we can count the number of edges in the graph using the cardinality of w, r times the number of vertices in w. Because, of course, each edge of the graph is also incident to exactly one vertex in w. So we know we're not double counting any edges in this way, and we're not missing any edges. And look at that. Thankfully, we've assumed that r is greater than or equal to 1. So r is not equal to 0, so let's go ahead, divide both sides by r, and we've got our result. The cardinality of u is equal to the cardinality of w. The partite sets of our graph have the same number of vertices. And note that when r is equal to 0, that doesn't just cause problems in the algebra part of this proof. The result does not hold when r is equal to 0. Because if there are no edges in a graph, you could put however many vertices you want in each partite set. It doesn't matter. You could put all the vertices in one partite set. You could put one vertex in a partite set and put 10 in the other partite set. There's no edges, so you could do whatever you want. So r being greater than or equal to 1 is a vital part of this result. But that's it, pretty straightforward. Because of the nature of bipartite graphs, we can easily count up the edges by adding up the degrees of the vertices in a single partite set. And since our graph is r regular, that comes down to some simple multiplication. Then we count the edges in the same way with the other partite set. Again, since the graph is r regular, we've just got to multiply by r to add up all of those degrees, and we've got an equation, divide by r, 
bam. So if G is an R regular bipartite graph with R greater than or equal to one and partite sets U and W, the number of vertices in U is equal to the number of vertices in W. Hope this video helped you understand how to prove this simple result about bipartite graphs. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math lessons on the internet. Like I'm smarter as a lady